Hey guys, welcome to the 27th part in this Python tutorial series for beginners. And in this one we're going to be talking about another concept that's sort of to do with inheritance and object-oriented programming. And that is how you can override one of the methods that you've previously written in one of the classes in which you inherit from. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into Python and show you. So you can see that I'm still using the example from the last few videos on object-oriented programming using classes and objects and all I'm going to do is in this dog class I'm going to write a new method but what I want this method to do is not define some new functionality what I want it to do is instead replace one of the methods that is being inherited so in this case I'm just going to use the get name method and in this case I don't like its functionality or I want to change it so instead I could just change it in the animal class but if I did that it would change it for every single uh, class that's also inheriting from it but if I just change it in the dog class then only instances of the dog object are going to have that different functionality which can be very useful in, in a lot of situations in Python so to do that I'm going to give it the exact same name as what I've defined in the animal class so I'm going to say get name and self in parentheses and this tells Python that it's the method get name that is needing to be replaced whenever the dog object uh, is going to sort of be used when whenever this dog class is you know instantiating a new object it wants to use the get name method from this class rather than the already defined one in the animal class so this is going to override anything that has already been defined that is being inherited from any of the above classes so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do a simple example here, I'm just going to get it to say uh, so I'm going to do self.name because I still want it to return the name but I'm also going to make it return self.species and also self.big that is big, sorry. So when I save and run this, I'm going to create a dog object, Bob the dog, and I'm going to say his name is Bob, and he is a, a small dog this time, so it's uh, is big is false. And I'm going to create that, and then I'm going to do Bob dot get name, and what get name does is it's going to run this method down here because this one is going to be overriding the get name that's already defined. So what we should see is we don't just get Bob, which is self.name, which would be this method. We also get the added functionality of self.species and self.isBig. And this is also another example of how it's inherited from uh, the classes above because self.species is not explicitly defined in the dog class, it's only defined up here in the animal class. So if we hadn't have inherited self.species, we wouldn't be able to say self.species in the dog uh, class, so that just wouldn't work. But because we've inherited that stuff from the animal class, which is just here, then we can actually use that information, which is really, really useful. So that's how you override a method in Python. The only other thing I'm going to show you, since it might sort of confuse some of you, is the way it returns three things. Because a method in Python can't actually return more than one thing, or more than one object, in other words. So what it does, without you sort of necessarily realizing if you don't really understand this yet, is it actually turns this into a tuple. So that's why you get the tuple syntax. If you've seen the video on tuples, you're going to recognize this because this is just a tuple and it's just got two strings and a Boolean value in it. And what you don't actually have to do with tuples, you don't have to put the parentheses around it and it'll still create a tuple. So that's the reason that this looks like a tuple, in case you were wondering. But that's all for this video. So in the next one, we're going to be talking about something completely different, which is regular expressions.